trying to think about something else It's not going so well You don't know what you do to me Good morning you guys, welcome back to the vlog I should have made my matcha with you guys this morning, but I forgot that I was supposed to be vlogging this weekend. So today is Friday. I don't know, June 6th, June 7th. What is this? My shirt. Um, it is my first day off of my long weekend. We have completed our week, you guys. It was a long week. It wasn't particularly hard. It was just, I don't know, it was a little draining. But anyway, I thought it'd be fun to do another weekend vlog. I love doing like a little weekend vlog when I have my long four day weekend. So the plan for this whole weekend is a little bit extensive, if I will say. I have a lot of things to do, really just in the next couple of days. Um, today we have a vet appointment for both of my dogs, which I am dreading. I was so stupid to make this appointment when Seth is out of town, he comes back tomorrow. I thought that he was gonna be here this whole week and now I don't wanna cancel the vet appointment. So I need to go because I need more of their like flea and tick treatment. They need to have their physicals, whatever. So it's going to be hell, but that is not until 11.30. And then we have the cleaners coming to the house today so I'll probably have to busy myself afterwards i am supposed to go pick out new flooring i am not quite sure if i mentioned this in the last video i think i have instead of going with tile we are going to go with a wood floor so i need to go pick that out today and send over some of my ideas to the project manager we are getting closer to ordering the cabinets and I'm really excited. I'm, we'll show you guys a mock-up essentially of what we're going to do because there have of course been lots of changes since we last talked. And then I am going to a workout at camp, ass and abs today with my friend from work at I think 4.30. And then I have a facial this evening at seven. And I'm, hmm, I don't know what time I'm gonna get done with that, but I should probably try to get dinner with my friend, but she works today, so. I don't know. I am just gonna reach out to her and see. We're already talking. It's my friend who I own the Botox business with. Um, so, yeah. Sorry, she just messaged me back. Um, I'm getting her scheduled with um, a client who wants to do Botox because my friend Mara, she does really good master Botox and this girl is wanting that. So I'm trying to get them set up together. But anyway. And then tomorrow I'm getting my hair done. It is in desperate need of a cut and then the redness is showing through. I did order my um, mask that I do, my gloss that I do at home. But for some reason it's like on back order from Amazon so I haven't had it and I desperately need it. So I'm going to get my hair toned and cut tomorrow and then I'm gonna spend some time at the mall because there are in like things I need to take back to the mall and then I just kind of wanna do some browsing for some things for Europe because that is coming up very quickly and then Seth comes home and we'll probably do dinner. As far as Sunday and Monday, no real plans. So we'll see what the weekend brings us. I'm so excited to bring you guys along. My camera's about to die. So I'm really just gonna sit on the couch and drink the rest of my matcha right now. It's only 8.45 and then we'll kind of get ready for the day and get started. <laughs> I am getting ready to go to the bar. I'm just gonna throw on a little bit of makeup and take off my pajamas essentially. I wanna look halfway decent, but I wanted to talk to you guys about um, anxiety, something that I struggle with and I was actually just scrolling through TikTok because this morning has been I don't know, just like a little weird for me, honestly. And I find that I tend to have a lot of anxiety on the days that I'm off from work. And it's not really related to work actually, um, which is a great thing about being a nurse practitioner for me is I don't have a lot of work-related anxiety. Um, my anxiety really tends from 
to stem from sitting still and I really haven't had anything to do this morning which is kind of atypical for me like usually I feel like on Friday mornings after like a long week of working I have a ton of stuff I need to catch up on as far as um, like social media and my Botox company and I did do a few of that stuff this morning um, like I need to touch up a girl's Botox like I told you guys I'm trying to get Mara set up to do Botox for another client but other than that I've just like been sitting around and it's too hot outside in Florida right now to be outside I mean I guess I could have been in my pool but I don't know I just didn't think about it but anyway I have just been dealing with anxiety this morning and I feel like you know the majority of the world deals with anxiety and most of us who have anxiety is something called generalized anxiety disorder which is something that I treat all the time in primary care and it's basically this feeling of like constant anxiety like you just live with an anxiety all the time and sometimes you have uh, panic attacks but a lot of people with generalized anxiety disorder do not have panic type anxiety they just constantly live in an anxiety state and that is something that i have struggled with on and off since i started college um i will actually say that it anxiety for me really it present it has been present throughout my entire life um but it's been more situational anxiety like I don't like meeting new people <laughs> I don't like um like not that I don't like but I don't really love new scenarios like when I went from my high school that I went to a school basically from kindergarten to 10th grade and they didn't have 11th and 12th grade so I had to go to another school so I went to boarding school um, for 11th and 12th grade and I had a great time and thankfully like one of my best two of my best friends ended up going with me but I had so much anxiety about like switching and going to a new school and not knowing anybody because my other school was very very small and now I was going to be away from home and I grew up with a lot of freedom as like a very responsible only child my parents just really trusted me and I could do basically whatever I wanted so I saw anxiety kind of throughout my life and it really worsened in nursing school and I had to learn a lot of coping strategies for school. So I started doing yoga in nursing school. I started meditating in nursing school and it's something that I try to do now but I'm definitely not as um, proactive on it as I like to be but I can definitely tell that when I'm not getting enough sleep and when I'm not mentally stimulating my brain with anything else besides my phone my anxiety levels are so high and that's what I feel like I did this morning like I didn't have anything to do so I was just on my phone scrolling and it just perpetuated my anxiety so yeah, I just wanted to like chat about that if you guys like deal with that you're definitely not alone in primary care, I do treat that type of anxiety a lot, generally with either SSRIs, SNRIs, sometimes um, something called buspirone, which is an anxiolytic, but I don't find it to be super effective, buspirone. Um, so, yeah. I actually really love treating anxiety and depression in primary care. Part of me thinks I should have gone into psych, but I didn't. I didn't know that I liked psych until primary care. So I don't know, I'm in the right field because you get to see a little bit of everything in primary care. But yeah, it's just been really interesting talking with and dealing with patients who really struggle with the same things I struggle with. So I would urge you to speak to your primary care about it um, and try to find some natural coping mechanisms for you. This is obviously not medical advice, but I really like the supplements GABA, L-theanine, and ashwagandha is okay too um, for anxiety. And those are things that patients will come to me most of the time being like, hey, I've already tried this stuff and it's not working. I'm still living with this like terrible anxiety. So it's always nice to try natural supplements before you go to a prescription medication if your anxiety is like livable. Now, it's definitely different if you, you know, are having a lot of depression episodes, if you are having 
God forbid, unaliving your self thoughts, you know, things like that. So just speak to your primary care provider and find a primary care provider that you feel really comfortable talking to about that type of stuff because it is really nice to just have somebody that you feel comfortable with. This is the outfit today. It is, again, so hot outside. These shorts are from Princess Polly. I love them. I tried to get another pair of red ones, but unfortunately they were sold out in my size. And then this shirt, I have two shirts like this. One has green and one has red. I got them at the Indie Flea, which happens typically like once a month, but I think they're on break right now, but it's in Tampa and St. Pete. And then my Birkenstocks. I really need to get another pair of Birkenstocks. You guys have had mine for literally the past five years. And they're great, but you know, they're getting a little crusty. Can you spot the doggies? <laughs> Thank God the vet appointment is done. I won't have to do that again for a year. We take Camper to the vet a little bit more frequently, which is why he tends to be more aggressive there because every time he goes, he gets stuck because he gets cytopoint point injections because he has severe like atopic dermatitis and eczema and I've tried giving him like all like oral antihistamines in it. It doesn't do anything and he also like is just a more aggressive dog than Hoosier but literally I just like wanted to cry during that whole appointment while they were like doing the vaccines and doing the blood and stuff because not because I know they're hurting them like they'll be okay you know like They'll be fine. Hoosier is actually much better than Camper is. Camper will growl, he'll try to bite them. He will like, we have to muzzle him. And then he like, will try to like jump out and then like try to buck at them. So it's just like, it's just a miserable experience. But anyway, now both of my dogs are on Prozac for anxiety. And I feel like that stems from the fact that maybe their owner should be on Prozac. <laughs> <laughs> just kidding but I was talking to the vet about how like it really is just like I really believe that dogs manifest our behaviors because I am an anxious person so like is that why my dogs are anxious I I don't know like I you just get into the thing of like is it me that like I've created all of these issues in them and I think to a certain degree it is but anyway I got some resources probably for some like behavioral modification type therapy which they need so we did that and um we are now going to floor and decor to look at flooring so i'll take you guys along for that the cleaners are at our house i just dropped the dogs off there i feel like i just need like a whew. yeah that was very quick literally I was in there for probably 15 minutes. I knew what I wanted and I got out. It was between really, it was between four. And then at the end I saw one that I was like, oh, that's it. Um, I'll show it to you guys. It was really between, at first I saw this one. I really like light wood, so you guys can see. And I was like, okay, like it's okay, but I feel like it could look a little bit more natural. I want it to look like natural light wood. And in the end, I ended up going with this one. A better place for you guys to see. I ended up going with this one. So it's laminate floor, but I think it looks really quite natural. And it's going to look great with our cabinets, I think. So that is the update on that. So I'm pretty sure I've showed you guys this already, but just for a quick little update, these are the bottom cabinets that we are doing in a pistachio green and then the top cabinets are going to be in I go with this like cloud white or dove but I haven't quite decided on those yet so I want to show you guys the mock-up that he did as well of the kitchen it's not in the colors at all but it's going to be the layout it's gonna be really good so he's making us a full new pantry over here and then he's making he's gonna like panel in the fridge as well <laughs> we're going to have a our, like normal cabinets there that he's gonna do horizontal which we have them um, vertical right now and then he's gonna add a spice cabinet we're gonna do a hood and then um, subway tile so everything's really correct except for the colors of the cabinets. The quartz is not going to have that much gray in it, but um, 
yeah and then this will be our other side that's gonna look really cute we're replacing whoa we are getting another sink i don't think it's gonna end up being this color i think it's just gonna be stainless steel and it's just gonna be a one thing right now because ours is divided into two which i just find annoying like we don't need that and then we're going to do gold accessories so my i want to show you guys really what my inspiration was i had really one big inspo or i guess a few but this was my inspo for the different colored cabinets i just really like how this looks i think it's beautiful this was my inspiration for the the gold and the green i just think that is so pretty with like a light wood i love that with subway tile it'll look super cute so that's the kitchen update okay so this is one of them that i am thinking that i really like this one or this one i know they look very similar but they're very different in my mind i think this one is my favorite randomly that floor and decor was beside a home goods so i think i'm gonna just go in there and browse for a second i'm just trying to burn time right now before i can go back to my house after the cleaners are done and then i think we're gonna go grab like an acai bowl for lunch because i'm starting to get quite hungry and it's it's one o'clock i know that this acai bowl does not look incredible but it is my favorite acai bowl from sunrise energize and loots and we're going to eat this i can't wait to get home to eat it so we're gonna eat it now and head home ideal situation right now i honestly just woke up from a nap it was so good i did not sleep that well last night so now i'm getting ready to go to camp class i'm wearing um a set from white fox it's white fox sarah's day collaboration these are like my favorite freaking leggings ever they're so good but and the back is super cute but we're gonna go to that and then i have a facial at seven which i'm excited for because i haven't had a facial in a while i have no words no words this should explain how hard the workout class was quick outfit of the day i'm headed to my hair appointment my friend and i didn't end up meeting because she has a hot date tonight and needed to go to the mall to get something to wear and it's like a fancy date so i'm so happy for her but um yeah so that didn't end up working out but it's totally fine so i'm running to my hair appointment they actually pushed me from 12 45 to 12 15 so it all worked out this top is from princess polly and this skirt let's see if you guys can see the detail it's so cute it's also from princess polly it actually comes as a set but i felt like i liked this more for just the vibe right now and then i'm just wearing some sandals hair is done i just get a tone and then so i get like a dark brown tone because i like to, my hair to match my roots and this is pretty close to my roots um maybe like a little bit darker but it's fine because it will fade in the next couple of weeks i don't have to do it again by myself but um i also just got a cut probably about like an inch inch and a half off long layers face framing pieces that's what i've been getting forever i have been just like thinking about cutting my hair short but then i'm reminded that my hair has no texture like no life to it and all the cute girls who have bobs on tiktok <laughs> have so much texture and like life to their hair and mine just doesn't look like that it's it's straight so anyway this is for now that's maybe for later girl dinner we need some burger 21 for dinner i got this cute little gla um, glass from anthropology today adding to my collection i got some other stuff that i could show you guys a little later it's not much but super cute good morning you guys happy sunday hi baby yesterday evening we watched the movie hitman on netflix with with glenn powell and we loved it it was so good um really cute and like a a fun take on a true story so i um, highly recommend if you haven't seen it but it's number one on netflix so by the time you guys see this video you have probably already seen it um but seth is home i'm so excited that he's home it's just so nice to like have you know your person <laughs> around and home um nice to have help with the dogs so anyway i'm making him watch it it's 9 15 i just woke up we are gonna do our Sunday ritual that we have not done in seven weeks because we were out of town. We we're in Indiana for a weekend, um, two weekends ago, 
and then just for Seth's birthday he's from there and then last weekend he was out of town because he went to Vegas um, so I think it's been about three weeks since we have gone to our coffee shop and gotten bagels so we're gonna do that but he has an intro flight at 10 o'clock where he is um, gonna fly like a small plane he's done it before but he has always kind of thought that he wanted to be a pilot but he never he did take one of these flights like when we first moved here I think a couple um, maybe like a year after we moved here I don't quite remember and it was really scary like he did not enjoy it and he just wants to try it one more time to see if it like if this is something he wants to pursue um, he actually Seth has got a new job so he's starting a new job in a couple of weeks so it's about to be like a little bit of a transition for our family but his job is going to be hybrid where he like works at home some days he's going to be a college recruiter and he's really excited about it so i'm really excited for him um but yeah he's kind of always wanted to pursue being a pilot so he just wants to like knock that out and be like either yes i'm going to do it or no i'm not going to so i don't know it's kind of fun because it reminds me of my dad if you guys don't know my father passed away it's been eight years this year but he was somebody who enjoyed lots of different things like um just kind of a jack of all traits but he loved to fly planes he got his pilot's license and when i was really small my dad had like a small plane and he would um, fly my mom and i on it and i don't really remember it but it's just kind of like a nice fun thing to think of so anyway just reminds me of that i'm about to make my matcha Yum. I've been using coconut milk in my matcha. Highly recommend. It's so good. It like levels it up. I've been um, experimenting with the milks. Like I used cashew milk for a while, which I did really like. Really good. Um, walnut milk, not so much. A little too thin for me. And then coconut milk and cashew milk are probably my favorite in matcha right now sitting down to edit this week's vlog the video that you guys are going to see before this is my morning routine and like before work and um i'm excited to edit it because i hope it came out good it just kind of like it was last sunday and i was like i want to do something different besides like a typical week or weekend in my life and i was like let me do a morning routine i have a very normal morning routine i feel like everybody on youtube's morning routine is like them getting up going for like a 45 minute walk outside and then going to get a coffee and then like coming back and starting their like work stuff for you know your typical content creator and obviously mine is not like that because I work in an office so I actually have to like be up and be somewhere by a certain time so I feel like it was pretty relatable so I'm excited to edit that content but I wish that I had edited it edited it a few days ago because in my perfect world like I wouldn't have to work on the weekends which it's like work it's really it's not comparable to like my regular job it's it's fun and it's not hard but just to like be able to sit and like not do anything would be really nice like in my perfect world I would do my editing for my YouTube videos on Friday before they were published on Sunday and I would have everything just like ready to go and done and like not having to work on the weekend but you know in another life or maybe you know in the future that will happen so i didn't i didn't do it this friday even though it was off because i use my husband's computer because mine has absolutely zero storage left so i do need to get another computer that's like on my list of things to do but i've just had other things that i've wanted to spend my money on to be completely honest like my little pool our kitchen traveling i'm just like i don't want to spend money on a computer right now when i can just use my husband's <laughs> I do it, just do it, myself And everything's so backwards now I did a good job I'm not convinced yet, we'll find out Why? But what's making you not convinced? You just never know that, it's very rare It's dangerous <laughs> The way you're cutting it. Yeah, I am a professional. Camper is so upset right now. 
campers? Yeah. Like the one outside? Yeah. <laughs> I'm thinking it's gonna be too soft. Mm. <laughs> it's good. It's not too soft. I would say it's not like super sweet. Mm hmm. Like overripe. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah, like if we, today is probably the good day that we cut it up because I don't think it would be good after today. I don't know. I'm doubting Trader Joe's ability to keep their watermelons because the last one went bad too. Literally like a day after we got it. Mm. I don't know. We also have no place to store this. But hey, see, that. look at that. It's starting to go bad right here. Oh. See. No, it's definitely on the verge of going bad. Mm -hmm. So I'm not like sure about their ability to keep one on. Just my one. ability to pick one. Like maybe this was too green. <laughs> Could have been. Pool time. Bathing suit is from Strawberry Milk Mob. <laughs> Strawberry Milk Mob. It's so cute. No joke, I literally just woke up 10 minutes ago. I didn't set an alarm for my yoga class this morning. It is 9.08. The class starts at 9.30 and I'm probably like 15 minutes away. Um, this is why I don't book <laughs> yoga classes on Monday mornings too much, like when I'm off on the Mondays because I'm like, it's my last day to sleep in so I really take advantage of the sleeping in. I'm such a sleeper in her. Like, not too late. Like, I woke up at 8.45, but I love to sleep in. And I love to have, like, a slow morning. So, a chaotic morning like this, like, I, I didn't even, I didn't make my matcha. So, I don't have time to make matcha. I was like, I don't have time to make matcha. I gotta go. So, I can get a spot. I'm also very particular about my spot in class. So, I think that that doesn't help either but I made myself some ice water with EHP Labs um, Oxy Shred and Peach Candy Rings as a pre-workout. You guys don't know I do work with EHP Labs. This video is not sponsored by them um, but I do have a code that you guys can use. I love their Oxy Shred because it does not, it preps me for a workout. It has a bunch of B vitamins and like some good ingredients that will get you ready for a workout but it doesn't make me jittery like a normal pre-workout does. So I love that. It gives me a lot of energy like through a workout. Highly recommend. I mix it with like super cold water. That's the best way to drink it. And then I just actually sip on it. Like I will probably drink not all of this um, right now because then I'll have to pee during yoga. But like when I'm just doing my regular like gym workouts, I will drink probably about half of it before I start a workout and then continue to sip on it throughout my workout. few hours but I have been a busy girl this morning after my yoga class which I thought was a sculpt and flow but ended up being a power class and essentially the difference is a power class is just doing a full yoga flow for the whole time but you hold the poses for longer which I don't like doing so it was not a fun class for me but it was good to like it's good for me to do stuff like that you know to challenge your brain so I wrapped up that ran home made some breakfast um, I wrapped up laundry yesterday, so I just needed to put away my clothes. And then I I didn't need to do this, but my married people out there will know that it's just easier if you do it. <laughs> but my husband got a ticket um, for running a red light in Tampa a couple weeks ago. So I went ahead and paid that online. And then he's been due to renew his um, vehicle registration for the last couple of weeks and hasn't done it. So I was like, let me just do it. I have a second. And now, I forgot I was supposed to drop off my car at the mechanic today because I need them to take a look at my back tire because it keeps getting flat and I keep having to fill it up. 
with air and it's been happening since November and I'm just now bringing it to the place. But I totally forgot this morning I was supposed to drop it off. So I'm gonna run there now and see if they'll let me drop it off. Seth's gonna pick me back up, drop me off at home. And then I have to renew my nurse practitioner license today. I have to work on it because it is up for renewal. I think the end of July, so I have time, but I, I need to do it today because it's, it's making me nervous. I have so many CEUs from up to date. That's a little hack. You guys, um, if you look up anything on up to date and you like review the information, you get CEUs. So I have, oh, sorry, I have like 175 CEUs, but they have to be specific in the state of Florida. They have to be about HIV, AIDS, domestic violence. So I have a few extra ones I need to do, and then I just need to pay my registration and be done with it. So I, I need to. I need to figure that out today. It's stressing me out. And then I just got some documentation for um, the sale of a piece of land. The final thing that um, we are doing for my dad's estate, my dad passed away a couple of years ago, almost, I think it's been eight years ago. Um, and he, he was a jack of all trades. He just, he had so much stuff going on. So this is the final piece, it's been eight years, but the final piece I need to wrap up today and I need to go to a notary to have some stuff signed. So I'm hoping Seth can help me out with that today because I'm not gonna have a car after this. So I don't know, I'm gonna need a chauffeur, but he's like technically working. Um, even though school's out and he has gotten a new job, he is a 12 month employee at the school. So he is required to go into the office like three days a week and he doesn't start his new job for two weeks so he's trying to wrap up everything and make sure everything is set in stone because they don't have a new athletic director coming on so he doesn't know what exactly is going to happen so he just wants to tie up everything pretty with a bow but he can do a lot of that at home so maybe we'll go to a coffee shop this afternoon and just work together and I can take the car for a second but I don't know you guys I'm I'm stressing it's only 12 15 I feel like I have so much stuff to do and per typical April fashion I leave it all to my last day off so <laughs> I need to wrap up all this stuff all right you guys I several hours later <laughs> I have done my hair I got dressed I'm about to film some content for TikTok I successfully have renewed my <laughs> APRN license and I finished all of my CEUs that I will need for the renewal of my nursing license next year so I feel pretty accomplished on that ate lunch and even curled my hair. So I took a shower actually too and curled my hair. So the only thing I haven't gotten done on my list today is getting that notary done. And I'm not sure I will because I haven't heard back about my car yet. And they close at six, it's almost four. So Seth is at work. I don't know, I'm just like grinding through some stuff. So I feel bad for like not getting a lot of um, content for here. But this is my only day left to get some content for TikTok before the week starts. So I just wanted to show you guys my outfit. I'm wearing this shirt from Abercrombie. It's super cute. And then these are the easy pants from Set Active. I wear them all the time. I have them in three colors now, black, white, and then this is the navy color. And I just think this is like a really cute Florida fit. <laughs> now I'm gonna film some content. <laughs> Alright you guys, that is the end of the vlog. It's 8.45, getting ready to like wind down and go to bed. So thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys.